Good morning, happy campers. So it is about 5.30 in the morning. Uh, we are heading up, well, we've headed up to the Kerrang car park, but we're not heading on the Kerrang path from the car park. We're actually heading back south, up and over the ridge to what is apparently a very nice viewpoint to look back up north towards the Kerrang. It's a bit cloudy, so not sure if we're gonna get morning sun, but before I go ass over tit down this hill, probably get some nice and moody clouds coming over because I can already see them starting to. Anyway, time to get up this ridge, ready for sunrise. Update, made it to the top of the ridge. Kaz thinks she's 180 degrees around. Doesn't know where she's walking. <laughs> We're arguing about it because, um, yeah. Yeah, it's clears in a bit. So we see where we need to go. Doesn't look good. Yeah, it's always nice being in the cloud. Right, an hour and a half after we left the car park and I am now at what is touted the best viewpoint in Sky. Let me flip the camera and check this out. Oh yeah, the best view of the inside of this cloud I have ever seen. Anyway, uh, I think we'll make a cup of tea and um, see if this burns off a bit. The sun came up about 25 minutes ago, so we shall see if this clears and then we get a lovely moody shot over to the Kerrang. starting to clear up now. So, let's just wait and see. This is my uh, YouTube audience. And then Sheila down there, she's having a munch. So finally getting some uh, clearance down in the valley below now. And uh, I think it's even better than the sunrise and the sun lighting this uh, scene up because it's looking good. Okay, so it's now 20 past eight. We've been up here for a while and oh, it's just gone again, but you can see the crank. Piss off midges. If you ever come to Scotland, Bring a hazmat suit, because waves of zombie midges just come and eat you alive. Oh, it's terrible. They're literally fucking everywhere. That wave of midges seems to have passed. It's incredibly annoying when they get in your eyes and your beard and your mouth and your tea. But now, should just be able to see the Kerrang coming into view in the distance. I didn't bring too many lenses up here. I just brought two. Um, I've got the 24 to 70 and I've also got my um, 20 mil for the wider angles. I didn't bother bringing any longer telephoto lenses. You don't really need them up here. Uh, but yeah, with this view, it's incredible.
So we're just about back at the Kerrang car park and spotted a lovely, so I'm scratching because there's so many midges, a lovely little viewpoint over to the Kerrang here. So there's this nice S bend as a leading line up through this little valley up to the Kerrang at the back, which is currently covered in cloud. I'm waiting to see if it clears up a little bit again. But if you just look at that, you've got the mounds, you've got the, the road leading through the shot underneath the Kerrang and the Kerrang at the top in the clouds. So, part two of the Kerrang, we're actually just going to head over to the Needle. Um, <clears throat> we've done our first bit of the walk on the ridge behind me this morning, and now we're just heading on the, uh, the tortoise trail. But as soon as you leave the car park and head up a little, you actually get to this little plateau, which has a rather nice view. We're a bit closer to the Kerrang now than we were on the ridges obviously back there. But just as I get to this, I'll pan around and show you what it looks like. Stop two on the way to uh, up to the needle is this tree down here. There's a little gully as you're walking up the path, about five minutes up from the plateau that I just stopped at. And you get a lovely view down the valley and this beautiful tree sticking out. Viewpoint number three. When you go past the gully on the uh, track after you've been past viewpoint two, you get to this huge boulder and then you can turn around and get a great view of the ridge that we walked up this morning um, and a few of the features in the foreground as well. So check this out. Time to take some more photos. Also at this viewpoint, we get our first real view of the needle. It was a bit obscure to us before from the car park and on the trail so far, but you can just about make it out in the rock formations and the cliffs up there. I'm gonna have to stop recording now, because guess what? King Midges! All right, so viewpoint number four, I think. We're gonna go for this for four. I've got this huge rock up here just to the right of the needle. And what I'm gonna do is try and get the path as a leading line up to the rock and see if it comes out. The needle might be viewpoint four, this might be shite, but um, I'm gonna give it a go. So viewpoint number 
five. We've made it to the needle. We just try to scramble up the back of that because the shot is actually coming down through there with the black rocks on either side with the view down the valley. But some large rocks came tumbling down this rather steep hill towards our heads, at which point we decided to turn around for our own safety because we ain't got helmets on today. Not that a helmet would have helped for the size of rock that was hurtling towards us. So we're going to be a little bit more tactical, have a little drink, and then uh, send the drone up and see if we can get the shot. I'll let you know. <laughs> 